Hi everyone, we're here in boardroom 505 and I just want to show you um, how we're setting up the polycom in here and uh, so you can set it up quickly. Here you go. So uh, here's the boardroom. First thing you want to do is drop all the blinds. The backlighting won't work if you don't do that. Um, then you want to haul in the equipment on that cart. Park the cart right there next to the TV. And also you want to go and get the laptop from Lindsay's desk and make sure that you get the uh, adapter right here and that it's plugged in because if your meeting goes for an hour you'll run out of power and cancel the connection. So we'll plug that in at both ends. And uh, in fact, I've jumped ahead of myself. The first thing you want to do is plug in that power bar on the cart there at this wall here. It's all wrapped up on here, and we've just got it laid out. And there's the plug right there. Plug it in behind the TV. That's the only outlet. You need the power bar for the different supplies. Then you've got this box as it's laid out. And this box, I'm not even sure what to call it, I guess another adapter, and plug it into the power bar right here. There we go. Now, this cable on this box is for plugging into a phone. That's not what we're concerned with, so leave it wrapped up. Next, you want to connect the cable from the wall here. That blue cable is the internet, and it just plugs in right there on that side there. And, and then you hear it's connected, the adapter box is connected to the round table right there, and that's just put power up to it. Take the cap off of there. You want to situate that right there on the table such that when the main speakers are speaking, they're trying to have their sight line looking at the camera so that when they're looking at the screen, the other person sees them looking at the camera. Next we want to come over here and you want to take this one cable that leads from the actual speaker and camera and it's going to plug into a USB on your laptop. Plug that in. On the laptop you also want to plug in the mouse. Sorry, holding the camera and doing it at the same time. That's not the right slot. There we go. And flip it over. There. So now we have the mouse. And then the speaker remote uh, dial pad. Um, it's just a, um, for the phone type connections, which we're not using, so it, you don't really need it. Um, there's remote mics underneath the station there, but I don't set them up in this room, don't really need them, there's mics on the stand. So then we're ready to turn on the mic. Okay, oh, uh, turn on the laptop, uh, it's just a second. Now we also need to hook up the TV, try not to stick on your cable. On the TV I just hit the power button right there. And then you want to get this cable on behind the TV, VGA cable, and plug that into your laptop right here. There we go. Take a couple of turns so that it doesn't plop out in the middle of the call. And there we go. Now make sure that you've logged into the laptop the day before so that it doesn't uh, take forever to turn on when you're entering your profile for the first time. You never know, the machine may, may have a software update. Now while we're waiting for the machine to come alive, oh well, there you can see it on the screen. And you see on the screen, I'll bring that back up, it needs to be on input 4. Input 4 happens to be an analog, so when you're looking at the remote, you see the input button right there the screen right behind, I press it and it usually will just be on there Whoops. and then if you want to change it you just press the input button whoops I went past it there and there we go there input 4 that's the one you need 
if it's, it, as I say, it'll usually be set on there. So we're just waiting for the boot. And I believe I've covered everything. Uh, when it comes on, uh, we want to do a system check. So I'll start another one. <laughs> 